Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com, training videos in Chief Architect. Okay, we're going to be talking about how to build a walkout basement. So I had a user submit in question, just wanted to learn the basics on how to build a walkout basement. And to do that properly is really is to mess with the terrain tools. So let's get started. Here I have a basic plan that I've built. No real interior walls or anything, just a, you know, a straight up building. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'd like for this uh, to be the front of the house and this to be the rear of the house. And as the terrain slopes down, it'll start here at the level of the front door and it will fall down, say 10 feet or so, to the backside or to the rear of the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my model. You always want to work with the terrain last, I think. Um, I don't like to work with the terrain while I'm drawing the house because things can change. But basically it's important to know that the terrain, just like all the house details, is built off of the zero point. And let me just explain. I'll double click into my plan and I have a floor height of zero. That's important because the terrain will build off of the point of A. So when we want to slope the terrain, we will be sloping it from A, whether we go north of A or south of A, it's all going to be based off of zero, which is uh, Chief's floor height. Okay, so here I have a plan, and I'm going to go ahead and build a basement. Uh, let's do that. Let's, um, let's build the foundation, and I'm going to do walls with footings, and I'm going to make it uh, my minimum wall height, mm, let's say, nine feet high. Okay, so the basement ceiling height has already been figured out as it as it tabulates in at 104 which is fine but that's important to know and click OK and we're gonna draw it off of the original say yes okay and it draws it below so let's take a quick look so this is what's happened just what we expected right of course okay so again I'm gonna go back to the plan I'm gonna go up to my first floor and I'm gonna put the door that is on the front of the house and then I'm going to go downstairs into my basement here and I'm going to grab my drawing tools and you know what I'm going to draw some of these foundation walls to be stucco walls because that's where it's going to slope down. It's going to bring these walls down just a little further. And so I still have my box and it's just important to now know that if I turn on my layers layer set here that I line up the walls above that seems to be lined up this one needs to be lined up so I'm going to use a line with above scroll over here do the same with this wall line with above make sure it's all aligned properly so it looks clean now on the back side on my attic side there I'm gonna put in say a sliding door I'll say a couple of them so there's the rear of my house and there's the front of my house. Now all I need to do is build the terrain that goes from the front to the rear. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn off my layer display options. I'm going to go to my first floor because this is where I want to build my terrain. Remember my terrain will always be based off that zero. So I'm going to go into the terrain tools now. I'm going to hit this and I'm going to generate a terrain. And let's go ahead and just take a look and see what's happened. And so far we can see it built the train a few inches or maybe even a foot or so off of zero mark. And we don't know how or why it built it like that, but we can change it easily. So I'm going to double click the train and it's going to tell me right here, building pad 16 and a quarter inches off of zero. So if I uncheck auto calculation and I type in zero and click OK, my terrain's going to end up perfectly on my front door which is great. But now I need it to come out perfectly below here. So I need it sloping down. So what I need to do is figure out what is the point at which these are placed below zero. So I can simply do that. I can double click and see that I've got 104 inches that it builds down to. So I'm going to go up to the first floor again, double click in this room and it'll show me again. I've got 108 for D, stem wall. I've got F here, which is uh, here 104 inches, which is built to what we need. Okay, so 
Now I just need to make the terrain happen. Now using this size of the terrain, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to go to elevation data. And there's different ways we can plug this in. I'm going to use elevation lines. Now elevation lines set the elevation of the terrain the way you want. Now I'm just going to draw it across here. And I'm going to say put it right about there. And I'm going to draw another one across here. There we go. Now if I were to double click this line, it tells me my elevation is set to zero. This one back here is also set to zero. But I want to set more to like 104 inches. That would make sense, right? Okay, <clears throat> once we do that, we generate the actual terrain. So we say build terrain. And Chief does that. And if we scroll in, we'll look and it shows you negative numbers here. And these are actually feet, just like you would in a regular CAD um, markings for uh, terrain specifications. They usually have these lines that uh, are scribbled across and, and they tell you which elevation is being dropped. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there we have our elevation being dropped. It's quite, quite a dramatic drop, but basically you get the idea. Now it's not perfect because see it's not landing right on the doors. And that's because I didn't put the line that I drew exactly on the doors. So we can adjust that line and adjust the terrain, which is nice. Okay, so let's do that. Let me take this line and I'm going to push it right up to the front door. So I'm telling the computer now, instead of being around negative 2 there, I want you 0 right on that door. And the 104? Yeah, I want you right there to be 104. And I just simply generate the terrain tool again. And I can zoom in and see that it did exactly that. Also notice the positive numbers are in blue and the negative numbers are in red. Nice little feature with X2. So now I'm getting a little closer. It's just this dramatic slope and really people don't have that. It's usually flat here and then flat and leveled out over here. That's the way they're going to build the train when they build the house. So we can do that. But see, Chief is estimating if it's zero here and it's negative 104 there, it must be sloping like crazy. So we need some more data lines to correct it. So I'm going to come across here and double click this and keep it at zero. And then I'm going to come across here with another one, double click it and make it negative. Let's go 106, just a little bit more than the 104. Then hit generate again. Now we'll see not so many deviations between the lines because see this was zero and this is zero. So this didn't really change in between. Chief's starting to figure it out. And from here to here it only changed a little bit. So let's take a look. Now we're getting a more better representation. We're also getting this slopey thing going on, which is not exactly what we want. So I'm going to go in here and try to fix this. Let's take it down a little bit further, 106. And then this time I'm just going to copy it and pin it because I want to place a couple of them. One there, one there, and one there. And that way I'm really forcing Chief Architect to be set to 106 there. And I'm going to generate again and let's take a look. And now we see a nice cleaner look as it's coming out the way we want. As well as on the top we need to get rid of this little loof that is happening. So we're going to do the same thing with that zero marker. I'm going to select this bad boy, choose copy and paste, and just kind of do a few in here. And remember to regenerate and take a look. And now it's much more specific, much more oriented towards it. Now if you want the slope to go uh, further straight and then slope down, we can do that as well because we want to cover up our foundation work that we have. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this bad boy, do a copy and paste, and I'm going to place them right through the house, which is fine to do. And we'll slope it again. And as you can imagine, I took it back a little further there. So it hangs a little further around the house there before it slopes down. So working with those tools in the terrain manufacturer is also under here. You can do a lot of cool things and there are a lot of tools there. There's even specific modifiers like a raised region 
or a lower region, things like that. And we'll get into that with different videos. This is really my first terrain video I think I'm posting. But uh, you get the idea. Basically, that's it. That's how you would do a walkout basement. Now, you don't need to make this as the foundation level. You can make this as level one and that level two. I mean, it really doesn't matter how you want to build it. It's totally up to you. But that's the basics for doing a walkout basement here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon.